so I'm going to go ahead and go straight into step three and then take your answers or questions later on. So what I've done in step two is to download, install, pay for it. And I need to, again, disclose. Unfortunately, they don't take credit card or debit card. They take Alipay. Uh, they take cryptocurrency even. Bitcoin, I'm paying, I use Bitcoin to pay for it. And uh, that's the only, I think, only challenge, I think, for you. So maybe those of you who are more familiar with cryptocurrency can help your buddy to to buy the software for him and make sure that if you're serious, go buy a six-month subscription so that you don't have to recharge it every single month. It gets cumbersome because you can't just use Visa or Master for this tool itself. But again, you need to do what you need to do, right? To get back in the game itself. So once you have installed the software, Camellio, on your computer, then the next step, obviously, is to create a Facebook Business Manager account only after you start running the software. And what I mean by this is that you now will need to configure the software and you will see what I mean as I show you a live demo right now that is going to create a unique environment that is unique to that specific Facebook profile that makes it safe to log in because Camellio creates a brand new fingerprint for that profile that you want to log in. And this fingerprint, which includes cookies and browsing history and everything, is not related to your existing cookies, browsing history of your existing primary profile, which already logged in on Facebook. So with that, let me show you a live demo to explain things better. So, for example, this is my existing environment and I can simply go to Facebook and I'm logged in. This is my primary profile. As you can see here. So all is good. I am not able to run ads on Business Manager because the Business Manager that I had is associated with this specific profile and it's disabled. So this profile is good for everything else except for running ads. And obviously I use this profile to post, to comment and do things because it's my one and only true profile. But what if I wanted to run ads? Well, I follow step one, I create a new profile, or I use a family member profile. Step two, I install the software. And remember here, right, I'm using a Mac. So let me show you the software itself. This is my Windows environment. And you can see that I have Windows 10 installed here. And I pretty much use this environment, Windows 10, specifically to run Camellio. So from a normal perspective, this is just a window in my Mac. And I need this environment, which is using Parallels, Windows 10, because I need to run Camellio in Windows. So I double click. Camellio and I say yes and I'm going to show you how to configure it it's really really simple and because this is a recorded video you can replay to follow my precise configuration steps so with this software I now create new profile
And what the tool is asking you to do is to literally create a new profile as a word profile here is. And the profile is not just who you are. In fact, that's not even required. It's really a browser profile. So remember all the components we talked about that affect your browser fingerprint? Well, we're going to now define. So as it turns out, from the top, I can click down and I can choose what profile do I want this to be off. I am now going to select desktop. I can choose operating system. Now, this is a virtual profile, not a real profile in that sense. So even though I'm on my Mac, I can, for example, say, well, my profile is of a Windows 10. So my, this particular profile I'm setting for Camellio is desktop Windows 10 system language. I'm going to go English USA. Now, are these common profiles? Well, well, they are common, right? Of course, I want it to be common. Browser, I'm going to use Chrome. And I'll use their latest operating system, which is 85.0.4183. Now, what if the Chrome upgrades? Well, it doesn't matter. This is hard-coded profile that would now create a specific fingerprint profile unique to this specific profile I'm going to create. So I'm going to click search to find available profiles. And well, I guess from a time zone perspective, I'll just choose plus eight like so. Or I can choose one below here. These are available profiles. So notice that the screen resolution also comes in and the time zone also comes in. I'm going to click on plus eight. In this case, selected profile, next. And everything here can be default. I'm just going to uncheck canvas spoofing. Uncheck both reason why well too long a story let's uncheck both leave everything default on the left side proxy we don't have to use a proxy so we're just going to go direct next and it's going to leave everything as default and launch browser so what is it doing it is actually now spoofing uh profile that as you will see later on right now opens a fresh chrome browser with the following settings a spoof ip address windows 10 os and so on and so forth so this website basically is saying well from what i understand these are the settings that i'm pulling from this specific user so this is the your fingerprint that you're creating and therefore when i go here and go to facebook it asks me to log in why because it has no cookie it has nothing it is a fresh environment so for those of you who are asking, what do I do after I have a new profile? This is where you start keying in your email and password credentials, and then you log in. Now, so you may be wondering, I did say that I can have other profiles side by side, and I'm going to show you that. I'm just going to minimize this, minimize this. Now, closing the browser would terminate this session as you can see here below it says browser running and closing the browser would terminate the session i'm just going to minimize it but not close it and i'm going to now call upon 
another profile which I already created previously, which I'm using for my alternative business manager. Let's just show you what it is. So I'm going to go next, 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 launch browser. And for all intents and purposes, it looks very similar to the other browser, but it is not. So, and let me show it to you why it's not, because I can now immediately click on the Facebook icon and it remembers that, well, this guy logged in before because there's cookies. As you can see here, I don't have to log in again. Next, I'm going to go to Business Manager and let's click it because I didn't log out the last time. The cookie is there. And you can see that it brings me straight into Business Manager. No problem. Whereas in the other browser, and let me just close this profile first, and you will see that okay, I'm not sure what's going on here. It's supposed to be right now. If you look at the status here, this is the untitled. Camellio profile, which because I just created this and I haven't saved this, whereas this one uh, is a safe profile. So at any time, I can launch a browser and you will recall the safe browser fingerprint so that I can now go back to my Facebook account or business manager and do what I need to do, essentially. Like so, right? Notice I don't have to log in at all. I'll just click onto this and I'm straight in to Business Manager. Now, when I close this, You can see here that the engine stopped and I'm going to close this and save profile. No, I mean, you can say yes, no problem. But the new profile I just created, notice if I just click launch again. This is a clean profile as what I mentioned. And And that's why when I go to Facebook.com, it makes me log in and sign up. And obviously, if I wanted to, I can log in, log in to Facebook with a, set, a different set of credentials associated with a business manager. And when I'm done with the session and it ends, I'm going to go to profile very soon once it stops everything. Okay, it's done. And then now I can save profile of the new profile that I created essentially. So now I have two different profiles, one and two over here. Now if I had three accounts, then I will need to create three profiles, four profiles. And uh, this tool allows you to create literally unlimited profiles. So 
Now, how do the pros do it? The pros basically would... No. The pros would basically use this persona and basically use this same session or this same profile, Camilla profile. Let me go back in again just to show you. So since the Facebook account is already here and it's locked in and it's associated to this specific browser fingerprint, then if you wanted to, for example, access your Gmail, you would do it here as well. Log into the Gmail associated with the Facebook account. Uh, you would essentially create a Twitter account here as well. And if you have an Instagram account, you would create an Instagram account here and associate the cookie, the browsing history and everything and all the fingerprint to this specific profile. So the workflow is essentially you do nothing on this account and profile until you come here to activate the profile itself. That, that, that's how you do it. And in a way, this is a good habit. So in other words, I'm going to save this. I do not run face business manager for this particular account anywhere except through clicking this icon. This way I don't screw up. I don't, I don't go log in to this account on my another computer or on my iPad just to look at things, for example. There's nothing to look at. I keep my business manager pure with a specific set of spoof browser fingerprint and I keep it separate and disassociated from all my other profiles. That's how I keep it safe. 